Now on a story we first brought you on the 5 o'clock news just two days after our Arthur Chan exposed dangers in the bike lane on the 59th Street Bridge. The NYPD says they're taking action. But he returned to the scene today and shows us motorcycles and mopeds are still invading the path. The defiance of the rules prohibiting mopeds and motorcycles on the pedestrian and bicycle path of the 59th Street Bridge was as evident Friday afternoon as it was when we first reported it Wednesday morning. That's when we counted some 40 motorcycles and powered mopeds bolting down the path in the span of one hour. We brought it to the mayor, who said this Wednesday. I'll talk to our transportation commissioner right away. By Thursday, a tweet from the NYPD indicated that conversation happened. It said police officers would be deployed, and a graphic attached indicated in red vehicles prohibited from the path. The post was retweeted by the police commissioner himself. But on Friday, we didn't spot any enforcement, just a lot of motorcycles going fast. The city says they're going to enforce it, but they haven't started yet. How urgent do you think? How urgent? It should be now. It should have been yesterday. It's ridiculous. Exasperation on a path that squeezes four lanes into one cramped space. On this side of the white line, it's Manhattan-bound cyclists and Queens-bound cyclists. On this side, it's for pedestrians that are coming to Queens and going to Manhattan. It's already an hour to begin with, and when you add on vehicles that aren't supposed to be on here, it's not very safe. Lauren brought her dog, Leon, for a walk on the bridge. She would turn around a short time later. I think people should follow the law. An appreciation for rules not shared on the 59th Street Bridge. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.